Hey everybody, welcome back. So today we are going to be drawing a Omine from Guruko no Basket. So one of the Generation of Miracles, I think, yes. Um, so I'm on a landscape orientation page, use a pencil, have an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast. So we start with his eyes, center point of my page is about here. Come up over to the right hand side. So we start with his eyes and he's real thin eyes. So we just go diagonal. Just a little dash and then we bring it across and up to there. So then the bottom of this eye, so we'll bring it sort of diagonal down there. And then it'll come across the bottom. So again, really thin, really thin eyes, real thin lines. Okay. I think he has like a line on the outside here. Something on top. And you, like you could thicken up the top eyelid a little bit, not too much. Right, so there's iris, so real small, just a half circle underneath his eye here, and then his pupil, again, real small. Just there. So the other eye, we were about eye distance across, we're in proportion, so the width of his eye come across. We do the same sort of thing again. So we go up, diagonal, and then we bring it across the top. And then we go diagonal down here, and then back across in to there and you can thicken up the top eyelid a little bit. Right, his iris is here. Real small. And then his pupil just there as well. Right, so then eyebrows, so real pointy, right? Ticks, right? So they go back like so. Go back real far. And then this has a section that you can sort of color in, but it gets real thin as we go back here, okay? And you do pretty much the same thing on the other side, right? So tick. back that way and a section to color just in here and it gets real thin the further back you go <coughs> do, 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 do. So I, don't, I think that I put a bit too much ink there. I'm just going to erase that. Bit better and then he has eyelid line just sort of here and another one here and then like an extra line around the edge of the eye so then his nose right so it's one of those animes where the shadows are drawn in right so that means right so we go diagonal here from this eyebrow and then we'll bring it straight down like so, and then we go sort of around like that. And then we can just see a nostril on this side, but on this side, right, we have a shadow line, right? So we go out here, looks like a nostril, but it actually becomes the shadow for the side of his nose here. 
there and then it goes around his eye and it goes up underneath there right and there is a shadow on the other side of his nose as well so it like comes out here back in up to there right and then you draw in the actual hatching lines right so you could use a ruler for this it's done very precisely in the anime right so if you wanted you could use a ruler or you could just go by hand right <clears throat> i'll go by hand just because i want to see if i can do it So, not bad. Um, and then the other side, sort of diff different angle, so it comes down this way. All right. And he has like some frown lines here, some hatching sort of frown lines coming across his brow. Okay, so he's smiling, he's got like a real sort of evil kind of smile, right? So start here and we'll just curve it up. Right, so we're kind of underneath his eye there, right? So it goes down and back up, okay? Right, so it looks like his mouth is closed, right? So we got to open it up. This way, back up into here. Okay, and then teeth. Just coming at the side there, and then his bottom lip, just here. All right, so then chin. So real sort of pointy chin down here. So right, like that. And then sort of eyes to nose, right, is about the same as nose to chin. Right? So that's your proportion. Sort of top eyelid to nostrils, about the same as nostrils to chin. Okay. And then nostrils to bottom lip line, about the same as bottom lip line to chin. Right, and once you get that then we can go up like so. Up the other side. All right, and then so your sort of jaw width here, about mouth level, and then you change direction and go up the side of his face. And just up above top of his eyes right and then so hair so he's lots of hair right so we got like sideburns here and then his ears will come out from there from underneath his hair okay so we got again sideburn here and then ears come out from behind his, his hair, underneath there, nearly like roughly in line with the tip of his nose, the bottom of the ears. And then you can have some more sort of lines inside. Like so. Right, so then it's fringe, so he's got short, sort of hair spikes. Right, we kind of just 
add them going around and he's got like a part in his hair here so they kind of change direction here And then we could sort of bring it down like so. And we just bring it around the top of his head. Like roughly the, the for size of his forehead is about the same as the size from the nose to the eyebrows, right? So here to here, about the same as here to here. And then we'll do the rest of his hair then. Whoop. So these short, sharp sort of spiking lines. like so and then we'll change direction here go out down the other side of his head like that and then he could have like some more texture lines going this way so like some some more sort of following the sort of shape for his hair growth going this way. You know, so all these sorts of texture lines and dark shadows and things, but you don't have to draw them all in. that and then so his neck and stuff so neck comes down roughly from his jaw comes down here all right like so and then he's got like some hair going in behind his neck from behind his ear that and then so anatomy so we got like trapezius going this way trapezius going that way and then we have his basketball shirt collar comes in kind of like a v sort of shape into there and then we have collarbones in there collarbone in there and then some neck muscles inside here and we got like some hatching or something in here similar to what's going on on this right he's got a shadow underneath his neck and it is drawn in again so we draw just sort of a curve line here back up and back up to there and I'll, I, I think I'll use the ruler for this because they're they are longer so I'm not as confident with the long ones so I'll just go I'll just go this way
Okay. So those that that's probably the hardest part of this whole drawing. <laughs> so the rest of his collar comes out around here, right? So let me just sort of do that sort of layer again. So trace around the line you already drew. And then we'll add like a black line on the inside. Well, depending on how you're coloring this. All right, and then shoulders. All right, so we got like a bumpy, he's got real wide shoulders, right? So we go out for the fabric of the clothing and then it has a sleeve, basketball sleeve here. Right, we do pretty much the same thing over this side, bumping sort of line. And then we have his sleeve going out here. And then you can have like some, you know, some fold lines and stuff. So, and then his shoulder, so shoulders come out like so. Curve back in. He's got like a muscle line here. Shoulder muscle. Comes out, down. Right, and he's got like another black line inside here. It's so crazy white shoulders. Um, and then we got some like lines that come across here. It's like a line for the jersey. Same thing over this side. And I'm bumping it and waving it because because of the fabric of a uniform, you know. But I think that's everything. That is how to draw Aomine from Kuroko No Basket. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.